Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Toyota might be helping out with the new WRX. Also, we might have a bunch of release dates for the Land Cruiser, the TJ Cruiser, yeah, that's a lot of cruisers, as well as the upcoming Harrier, which also might be related to the upcoming Lexus NX. I'll see you on the other side, and let's get into it. <laughs> Over at Motor One, Subaru reportedly teaming up with Toyota for the next gen WRX. This is pretty crazy. The companies might also have an all wheel drive sports coupe on the way. Who knows? We could possibly see that sports coupe in a Lexus as well, but let's keep reading. Recent deal means that Toyota owns around 20% of Subaru, and close ties could extend to developing the next gen Subaru WRX together. Now, this is found over at Best Car. I went over to the website, I tried to find this article. Uh, I couldn't find it, but at least Motor One was able to bring it to us. And no surprise, it is still several years away. So what can we expect of it? Well, they're saying that they have this new all-wheel drive system called Super All-Wheel Drive. Other than that, we don't really know anything else about it. And we know that they're already working on a shared platform that the new WRX and other Toyota and Subaru vehicles could use. Timing is a bit awkward and we don't have an exact date, but certainly not next year. <laughs> Probably two to three years from now, we're gonna see this potentially joint venture WRX from Toyota and Subaru. So we're hoping it might be a 2021 issue. So that'd be like a 2020, 2022 model, to be honest. Another thing to keep an eye out for is an all wheel drive sports coupe with development from Toyota and Subaru. Information is very scant, but the vehicle's allegedly compact model performance on par with the STI. This last paragraph just talks about how how the WRX STI is getting, um, I guess, a last edition in Japan. What do you guys think? I'll see in the comments on this one. And let's get to this next article over on Best Car. So on this uh, Japanese website, I was looking for that article for the, for the STI or the WRX Toyota Venture vehicle. Well, instead, I found, I stumbled upon this article, which talks about release dates potentially of uh, upcoming Toyota vehicles. Now, what's interesting is they they start by saying at the Tokyo Motor Show, there was no announcements at all for vehicles. And I talked about this in, in one of my previous videos, which is very strange because all the other competitors were announcing vehicles. So let's get into what they think is gonna be the release dates for some upcoming vehicles. Um, I have a video on this TJ Cruiser. It's gonna be a hybrid, possibly uh, released in June 2020. Now this would be released probably in Japan first. We probably won't see it till 2021. Who knows, this could be, it would be crazy, but it could be uh, potentially a next-gen um, Sienna. I don't. I honestly don't think it's big enough, but it has sliding rear doors. It, all the seats fold down or are, are removable, so it's essentially a minivan. Who knows? The Sienna might be a little slightly bigger version of this. Well, time will tell. It will be really interesting. I hope this vehicle makes it to America. I already talked about this one. This has just been released, though, so this has already made it. So this is old news. But this is our. This is is out available now in Japan as of yesterday. This is a Toyota Rise and Daihatsu Rocky. Okay, so what a lot of you have been wanting to know, new Land Cruiser will be released in August 2020. Take this with a grain of salt because this is not you know, official. Any sort of news and rumor is definitely worth going over with the Land Cruiser. So the 300 is expected to go full model change in August of 2020 and the Land Cruiser Prado one year later in August of 2021. We don't see the Prado here in the United States. Instead, we see what's called uh, the Lexus GX 460. So if we get a Prado in 2021, there's a good chance uh, we get uh, a new GX around that time. Possibly, uh, it would probably be a year later, to be honest. I think it would be awesome if Lexus debuted the new LX and the new GX at the same time. But time will tell. I think it'll probably be in... 2022 to be honest uh, where the land cruiser will be out uh, potentially in 2020 so time will tell what do you guys think do you think this will be out in august of 2020 i don't know i think that's pushing it a little bit you know it's any, anything's possible anything's possible and then last but not least new information on a new harrier to be released at the end of 2020 we don't get the harrier in the united states Let's go back to 1999, and the Harrier was actually the same vehicle essentially as the Lexus RX, and that was for the first two generations of the RX. And then the RX uh, 2009 for the 2010 model went to a different platform where the Harrier started sharing the platform with the RAV4. This being released at the end of 2020 is a good sign because it's probably gonna share a lot with the next generation NX, 
if this is going to be out in 2020, the next generation NX could definitely be out at the end of 2021. Let's cross our fingers for that. We really hope so. Um, but these rumors, I hope, are true. I hope they have the, all these vehicles come out as uh, soon as they say they're going to, uh, especially the Land Cruiser and the Harrier, because those have major implications for Lexus vehicles as well. So what do you guys think? Do you think the Land Cruiser is going to come out in 2020? We'll see. <laughs> do you think the do you think really Toyota is working with Subaru for the next generation WRX? I think that's highly, highly possible and probably likely. Uh, the fact that they are sharing so much together in this new radical times of the automotive industry where they're trying to eliminate cost while also you know perfecting the internal combustion engine before things are really starting to going to be mainstream hybrid and mainstream electric so we're in a very very fun time in the automotive industry follow my channel i talk a lot about this because it's really exciting to me uh, but yeah the new wrx will definitely definitely share some things from toyota whether they say it does or not it probably will and the reason is because toyota owns such a large percent of subaru and we might see a coupe between the two of them maybe share the same platform who knows if that coupe would be a subaru we already see the subaru brz and the toyota 86 share the same platform it is possible that they have a next higher up supra let's say they super they get rid of the bmw supra they go with a subaru uh, Toyota joint venture and I think fans would be really happy about that um, because it would be fully JDM people would love that regardless I mean I, I like Supra high performance vehicles uh, I like BMWs but for wholly different reasons I don't want a BMW or German vehicle to have anything to do with a Japanese vehicle I think they should be mutually exclusive and be true competitors and not uh, Axis powers <laughs> that we saw in World War II. Anyways, that's a bad joke too soon. No, I could definitely make that joke That was like 60 years ago 70 80 years ago guys if you want to continue to support the channel uh, Consider supporting over on the patreon page. Thank you for my current patron supporters. You know, I love you Thanks so much and then I also have a brand new teespring page which will be down in the, the description below But I'll see you guys in the comments uh, and in the next video until next time. Peace out mm -hmm.